Hi guys. I know it's been a long time since I did a video, but I've been really busy. You know, it's been getting colder here and I live in central Arkansas and we've also had a lot of humidity that I've been dealing with. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've been dealing with some fungus, but everything's doing great now that it's been treated. And so today I want to do an unboxing. And this is a package of eight Dick Wright Hybrid Echeverias. And I want to go ahead and open this right in front of you guys. So I thought I would make this a video. Um, I really do have a lot of other things that I want to make as videos, but if you guys have any good ideas, please let me know. I have just been really busy with work and then the weather's been changing and not only that, but you know, I started that local group here in Arkansas for succulents and in two weeks we're having our big meetup where we trade stuff. So I've been working on that, but anyway, box is open. So I'm going to tell you what I got and I'll show you each one and I'm really hoping that they labeled them and I think they do, but I'm really excited. So these are all going to get really, really big. So if you know anything about the Echeverias from Dick Wright, they're going to get monstrous, kind of like this one. So this is a Dick Wright hybrid. I don't know the name of this, but the ones that I have in here, I do know the names and okay, they are labeled. So. This one's called Speed Bumps. And what I think I'm gonna do when I make this video is I'm going to show you a picture of what it will look like when it's grown. And I really don't think that the, the uh, video here is going to do it justice, but this is a Speed Bumps. So honestly, it's a really good size. I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do is set them aside. I got to keep the labels with them because I will get confused. Now, three of them are the same. I got three Verugas and Verugas are the really warty looking plants. I will put that up there now. Now this next one is called, called a Lucy V. So this one is another one. This is going to be one of mine. Okay. This one's actually pretty big. I mean, look at the size. So really pretty it's going to be frilly i will show you a picture of what it's going to look like when it's big but super pretty i am very pleased and what i am going to do i do this with anything i get new i'm going to spray them all down with alcohol as soon as i'm done with this video and it's not that i think they're going to be mealybugs in them but it's just for good measure it's not going to hurt anything so why not okay this next one is a red trump. So Echeveria red trump and whatever. Uh, we've got an election coming up. Whether you like Trump or you don't like him, this is called a trump, a red trump, and I like it. So really cute. I just thought it looked cool when I looked at the, the large size of it and there's a dry leaf. So, you know, I've got the problem with pulling those off. But anyway, Red Trump is really pretty. And now I need to really pull out one of these Verugas because I don't want to pull out three in a row that are exactly the same, but it's probably what's going to happen. So, okay, finally we have a Verugas. Now Verugas are going to get really bumpy and actually this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. That's okay. All grown. Verugas, you can, there's not even any bumps right now. Sometimes at this age you can start seeing some bumps, but I don't see any yet. So it's not going to be long though. So if you guys will remind me, I will do an update video. If someone at some point will just say, after a while of posting this, hey, uh, what's the update on the Dick Wright uh, Echeverias? Then I will show you how they look. So this next one is a ballerina. And unfortunately, this one is not mine. I got this for a friend because I told her I was ordering these and she wanted this one. And again, really the when you when you open them out of the box it doesn't really do it justice but this is a ballerina and they're very pretty i will i will definitely make sure to do thumbnails of what they look like when they're big and it doesn't take that long and these guys 
It's really strange because, you know, they say that Echeverias are summer uh, active and winter dormant, but it really depends on what you, what temperature you have. So my summer was over 100 degrees for much of the time, and I believe that put a lot of my plants into dormancy. And so now that it's starting to cool off and we think it's fall and all those plants are falling asleep, mine are starting to wake up and starting to put on a lot of new growth. So I think they're loving the temperature and I think they're gonna like it through the winter because I keep it about 60 to 70 degrees in here. Now this one is a really beautiful um, Dick Wright hybrid and this is called La Femme. And I don't want to misquote, but I think it had something to do with the fact that the edges are very skin colored. And I'm sorry if you hear scratching, my dog is trying to get in, but I only have two more to un undo. So anyway, oh my goodness, she really wants in. So give me one second. Come on. Okay, so there's my doggy. That's Moxie Pup. So, okay, so we've got La Femme, really big. I mean, compared to some of the other ones, very large, love it. That one was a specific one that I wanted. And then here we have, well, we only opened one Veruga, so I guess the rest of these are, they must be Verugas because that's all I have left. So these other two are pretty large. So here is a huge, huge Verugas. So I like to peek in the rosette and see if there's any bumps. So not yet, but very large. It's not going to take long. It's got roots already. Very nice. Great specimen, I love it. And then, unsurprisingly, this last one is also a Verugas. And I saved this one for last because it was the biggest one in the package, but I didn't know what it was gonna be, but it's a Verugas, so one of these will be mine. The other two are going to go to friends of mine, but man, this one is huge. Look at this one. This one also doesn't have any bumps yet, but like I said, it's not gonna take long. So very, very pretty. So anyway, these are the Dick Wright hybrids. I think I will try to turn the camera around. Actually, every time I try to do that, it shuts the camera off. So I'm just going to shut this video off and I will show you what they look like laying out and then we'll make the end of the video. But give me one second. All right guys, so here is the last part of the video. So here is a Verugas and here they all are laying out. So this is another Verugas. This is actually really large. So you see the sizes of some of these other guys. This is a La Femme. I'm really excited about this, with the skin color leaves. This is my ballerina. Actually, I can't even call that my ballerina because it's going to a friend. Another Verugas. I'll probably keep the small one because I promised the other two to friends. This, I think, is a red. No, no, that's the Lucy V. So, Lucy V. Here's our red Trump. So, red Trump. Real cute. Love it. And then finally, we've got these speed bumps. And I'm, I'm really excited about that one. So, when you see the picture of what it looks like, you'll see. So, anyway, dry leaves falling off, whatever. Anyway, guys. I really can't wait for them to all get this big. And this is a, a Dick Wright hybrid. I actually don't know what type. Sometimes people just randomly call these Dick's Pinks and, or Dick's Pink. And of course, I can't stop pulling off the dry leaves, but I wanna let you guys know that I really appreciate that you are subscribing and watching my videos. And so I wanna do a giveaway and I don't know what I'm gonna give away yet, but I would like to give something away. So for anyone who comments, on this video and also becomes a subscriber. I'm going to put you guys in a little contest and then the next video I'll do a drawing and I'm going to send you some sort of special box and I don't know what it is but I will let you know that I am getting a special package pretty soon from Korea so that might be a hint but anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll subscribe and I hope you guys will stay safe. Bye bye.